today I'm going to show you how to make your computer cute. This only works for Windows, I believe. I don't know if this works on Mac or Linux or anything else. There's only three components to what makes my, my computer look cute. So I'll start with the simplest first, which is the live wallpaper. This is lively wallpaper and how you get this is just go onto the Microsoft store and then search lively wallpaper. And it's this app right here that kind of looks like a photos app on iOS. This is what I've been using as a replacement from Wallpaper Engine. I never paid for Wallpaper Engine, so I had the pirated version and it was very difficult. There was too many gross things and all I wanted was some cute things. And what's really cool about this is that you can just add your own. So where I found the GIFs for uh, my backgrounds is I, wa I went onto Tumblr. Yes, I went onto Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr or Pinterest, but I've been using Tumblr and I just search up kawaii gif. Now, some gross things have popped up when I searched this, which is disgusting because it literally just means it's like cute. Like, why do you have to be gross? But search for one that's like big like this one and just download it. This is where I found my Animal Crossing one. So I just use that gif and I'll try this. And then on Pinterest, same thing. And I'll try this one. Now I'm just gonna open and I usually don't name it or do anything to it and just float it. Look at how cute that is. That is so cute. And if it's too fast for you, then you can go to customize and then you can change all these things. Saturation, I like I don't really mess with any of those, but you can change the speed, which I think is useful because some of these GIFs are just too much sometimes. But as you can see, I have a lot. I have a lot to choose from. And my favorite right now, I really like this one because it's so high quality. And here are the built-in ones. Protein clouds, periodic table, just a bunch of stuff you can mess with. Living room, you can change the position of it. That's so cool. I wish it was more customizable though. This has been my background for a while. Sugar bunnies are so cute. Okay, so next step is all these things on my desktop, including this Mac type bar up here. To do this, you need the program Rain Meter. So just search up rain meter and i had a question in my other videos for making roblox cute uh, there's no viruses i would never promote something that has a virus in it and this is a very old program i've been using it for forever download it here and then install it i have no need to reinstall it but if it's complicated for you then i don't know gotta watch a youtube video about it so install rain meter and to find rain meter skins you don't look at this website this website only shows a few good ones they don't really show you the cute ones search up deviant art yes i don't know if any of y'all remember that oh damn it just sent me to okay so i saw this one and i was like wow that's really cute so this is what i use for my clock and my date it's Steven Universe themed and it is very cute. Um, how you download this is you have to make a DeviantArt account and then download from right here. And then once you've downloaded it, I recommend putting it in a rain meter folder just so it's easier for you, but it will be a skin. It will say a skin or you open it up and it's a zip file. Make sure you have something to unzip it and just take these and put it there. I already have these, so. But this is how you load it. So all you have to do is Click on it, install. Goofy ass will feel come in here to tell you that I made a mistake. I installed the skin over my pre-existing skin. So it just messed things up. And so I couldn't move things around and show you how to move things around. You just click on it, but I was stupid and didn't know that happens, but I promise you it works. Now this just messed up all my rain meter stuff because I just reinstalled it. It's fine, I'll just change my other stuff to make it fit. Okay, that looks ridiculous. So for installing Rain Meter, I do recommend you watch a separate tutorial on just how to install it. What the biggest issue is, is that it already comes with a load of skins and what you need to learn to do is how to unload them and put new skins in which isn't that difficult but i'm sure there's more in-depth youtube videos but i don't want to uninstall my rain meter because i have all these settings here and i don't want to go through that again but once you figure out how to load in skins it's not that difficult for the ios mac looking skins i used two different ones almost all rain meter skins are on deviantart so this is a rain meter skin i used here's a link for it called big sur you can either download it here or download it here so this right here is the more transparent looking widgets it's 
called Monterey, and I'll link everything in the description so it's easy for you to download. But this one has settings, most widgets do. Get to the settings, you just need to right click on it and then edit widgets, and then it brings up this right here. So you can add or remove widgets this way and appearances, blur, dark mode, whatever you want. This up here is drop top four, I'm pretty sure. And it's also a rain meter skin. They actually have a website for this, so you can just download it straight from their website. And the install process is so smooth that I don't even think you need a tutorial for this. They have tons of different features. Um, folders, like look at this, this is so cool, apps. Um, they have very in-depth settings right here, so you can change your color. These are my custom colors. I didn't really change anything but the colors and the home icon. You can only set a few icons because they want you to pay for it. Um, but there's different themes that you can just automatically do, and what I did was macOS. Now for the part I'm scared about. This is called My Doc My Finder, and I didn't pay for this. I am a pirater at heart, and I'm not paying $5 for a dock. But it is on Steam, so if you do have the money laying around, just open up Steam and buy it. Don't do what I did. So once you've opened up Steam, just search my dock. And as you can see, this is $5. It's $5. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, once you add an app, it just automatically makes an icon for it. But what I did for all my apps is I put custom icons for it. And to do that, search up iOS icons and then scroll down until you see this link over here. Here, there are a ton of icons for apps I don't even know about. And they do have Roblox, so... There you go. They have folder icons, they have icons for everything that you need, and you literally just click on them to download them. So it's super easy. You can just go boop, boop, boop. I need that. <laughs> now I won't gatekeep on how I got this because it was really tedious for me to get my dock, my finder. There is an alternative. You can use rocket dock, but that is really confusing that I don't even know how to use it. You can put skins on rocket dock and make it look like iOS, but this already comes looking like it and it's just so much easier. What I'm gonna tell you to do without getting in trouble for myself is look up pirate game websites on Reddit and then choose something that goes along the lines of unlocked Steam you know what I mean, .net, and low-key, it is in there, and you can download it for free, and it's very low space, and there's no virus, because that's a confirmed pirating website with no viruses. I can, I can vouch for that, because I have an insane library of games that I did not pay for. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I'm sorry I couldn't go into to detail about Rain Meter, it's just I do not want to uninstall and then redo my 4-drop again. It's just, I love my theme. I have for it. I cannot change it. But I will. I will link Rain Meter video. I will link all of the Rain Meter skins that I put in this video, and I won't link the link to you know. But I gave you a little clue, so be careful. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you for the recommendation. This commenter, thank you. Thank you for that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And any questions or comments, I will respond to. No viruses. I promise. <laughs>